Lesson number four, hoops and double hoops. Hello everyone. So sometimes you have a situation when your pin is coming through your bead because the hole in your bead is actually too big. So what I suggest here is to take something like little caps that can be in the shape of a snowflake, flower or different other shapes. And now it's much bigger and it's not coming through. It's like a cork, you know. And the only thing that's left is to make a little hoop by twisting your pin. There you go, it's done. It's very easy. But what if you need two hoops from both sides? Well, that's the question. Let's see. First, we need actually quite a long pin. We'll put it through. Apply the same cap, making a little hoop on one side, making sure it's nice and smooth, bending it a little bit there, see what I'm doing, there you go, nice and pretty. One side is secure. Now on the other side, cutting off this part of the pin ball or a cap, putting a flower cap through again. And now I'll need to cut a little bit off because it's actually a bit too long. So but I'm leaving about a centimeter. And yeah, I'm doing another hoop again. And there you go. Nice and pretty. Or almost pretty. And the way of connection is always the same. Two jump rings from both sides. I touched the chain. I'm going to connect one chain with this bead now. So closing the jump ring. Putting another jump ring in the other part of the chain. And uh, there you go. Click. Tick. Done. So we actually made a connector ourselves just, which is very cool. So this is it then. Thank you for watching guys and good luck in your project. You can post it on my Facebook or anywhere. Let me know what you've done. And please subscribe and comment and always remember my Mandarin Ducky.